Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today I want to take the opportunity to demonstrate our new Green Guards uh, software. Now, as you know, uh, in green screen photography, if somebody has a green shirt on with a green screen, usually we'll either get rid of the shirt or we'll change its color. So in this case, it dramatically changed its color. Now with Green Guard uh, processing, the uh, you, we have two modes. We can protect something that's on the inside of the shirt, or we can try to protect the whole shirt itself. Now in the past, the problem was if we protected the shirt, then the hair would be um, compromised. So what we do, and we can show how easy it is, you just turn on Green Guard, uh, Green Shirt, and let's see the protected areas to get a little feeling for how it works. So what it does is um, it first of all it finds the outside green that's attached to the end of the screen and then anything inside of there is fair game. Now you have the option of getting rid of uh, background green. Um, that's what this little remove inside background green and I would just always leave that on unless you're really desperate in trying to get something that's very close to the green screen. But the interesting thing in this diagram is this little blue area and that's what we call the protection radius. And you can see if I turn the protection radius off I start getting red in here which will translate into green in her hair. And I can show you that but you're probably not going to be able to see it in the video. But there's uh, green in her hair there. So we up this a little bit and then her hair is protected and her shirt's fine and that's the way it works. So no green protection, green shirt protection. Now it's always not gonna, not all green shirts are this uniform so this thing works about 80 to 90 percent of the time so I wouldn't throw away your blue screens yet but for those cases where um, Here's another green shirt. Uh, for those cases where you do have a green shirt, like you're in an event or something, then this can be a real lifesaver. And then if there's small small things that don't work, then you can always still go to the editor and fix them. Okay. So what about the other, uh, what about blue screening? So if we do blue screening, we load a blue screen photo. Uh, you can see that this purple was actually pretty close to the blue, close enough so it didn't show up. And again, you can turn protect green on, and away it goes. It'll restore it. Okay? So let's look at the other case. The other case is we just have some flowers or something on the inside. Okay? Oop. Turn green screen processing back on. So you see the people are are taken care of but we can go to green guard settings and we just say protect inside green and then anything green whether it matches the background or not will be protected okay so that's the simple case a little more complicated case is uh, this bride photo because we're doing a lot of green processing on her already okay and um, so we go to green guard again and we turn on protect inside green and you can see we've got all this green here too. But what we can do is we can increase the protection radius until all that goes away but we still have the green flowers. So if you want to take a look at uh, the protected areas you can see we really sucked in the protected areas here. So that's how it works. I mean, it looks simple, but believe me, it wasn't. Um, again, I wouldn't wouldn't toss away your your uh, your green screen shed if the green is too close to the background. It has a problem. Um, in some cases, we can fix that. So let's let's take a look at one that's not so easy. So here we we totally got rid of that green. We turn green guard on. We say protect shirt because it goes to the edge and up oh, didn't work. So the question is why didn't it work? So we turn on our show protected areas and you can see that 
this screen was too close to the background green so it got rid of it. So this slider uh, becomes more selective about the background green so we turn that down and voila now the background uh, this whole area is then selected we have a lot of these little uh, but they're blue selections it's basically just a little blue area around the uh, around something that's super small so that we don't have to worry about that and voila we actually are able to extract a green screen on a green screen so that's how it all works so I hope this helps and you can play with it um, Green Guard is available in Green Screen Wizard 11 but only in the Pro and the Pro Batch versions so it's not available in the light of the full versions of course you can always upgrade um, just use your old serial number as a coupon code and you can upgrade for the difference in the price anyways that that's all I have to say about green, the Green Guard processing and uh, we hope that it helps you out of a tight spot we still recommend that you if you have control over the situation that you don't let people wear green uh, but like I say you'll find that if it doesn't fix it it'll at least get close and definitely be a help thanks for watching uh, we hope you enjoy Green Screen Wizard version 11 thank you